and we're gonna go here. Okay, I don't have Diddy's time of birth. I just have his date of birth, which is November. Okay, you can see November fourth of nineteen sixty nine. So he's a year younger than me. Um, that's not what they were saying. That he. That's not the eldest that they were saying. But okay. He's by a different daddy. He's 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 different daddy. How you doing, baby? Hey, Tamika. Okay, now let's get into this now. Let's get into this. Okay. Let me tell you what had happened. I literally was about to show y'all that chart, and all of a sudden, and the cats aren't in here. No one else is in here. My computer literally just shut down. There's no one else in here. The kitties are somewhere else. We can't even blame Gemini for this one. So I don't know what it was, but at whatever we fixing to get into must be real good. Because these mother truckers is trying to shut me down and shut me up. I'm about to bring his chart up. He's, he was born on November the 4th, 1969. In Harlem, New York. I do not know his time of birth. So I don't have his time of birth. So I don't know for sure what his rising sign is. I'm going to look to see where his moon is. His moon is going to be here pretty much no matter what time of day. It'd be very odd for it to be a Leo moon. <laughs> However, we're going to look at the transit chart based on an unknown time of birth this is from today this is from a few just a, you know a couple hours ago but things really hadn't moved too terribly much um so interestingly enough here's his son in scorpio uh, that's not shocking considering his sexual proclivities that does not shock me at all that sun in scorpio also trines his north node in pisces that also tells me he's going to be into some dark stuff and not only is he going to be because he's a scorpio sun and a solid normal scorpio like he's a solid second decan scorpio sun he's also scorpio Mercury as well. And they're not quite conjunct, but they're pretty darn close. So he's going to have this, he, he his thoughts are going to be in that kind of scorpionic mode all the time. This is how he just is going to, this is how he expresses himself. This is how he thinks. This is how he moves. This is how he speaks. But, but Scorpio's independent of the dark uh, or the deep sexuality. Um, also are excellent contractors contract. They're, they're excellent at creating contracts. Oh, uh, they're excellent at leveraging other people's stuff. They're excellent at, 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 at executing, negotiating, you know, the contracts that you cannot deny, right? You cannot refuse. Um, also, he does have Scorp he has N Neptune in Scorpio as well. This is just uh, what I can sense now I can see in his chart, what we kind of know to be true is that, or allegedly is that I could see where he could have a, 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 a propensity for dark arts, for dark um, rituals surrounding that are sexual in nature. I could see that. I can see that. I can see where He's going to want to tap into that that darkness. He's going to want to tap into that depth. He's going to want to tap in, and and he, and he will not have an issue with like this spoken. Like it'll make perfect sense to him 
why these rituals must be done. This is all allegedly, this is all my opinion. This is just what I seem to be gleaning from the man's chart. Okay, that's his natal chart. Everything in blue is his natal. The orange is the transit, the current transits as of today. Um, he also does have Venus and Jupiter conjunct in Libra. Um, also Uranus in Libra as well. This to his ability to be able to get in and out of trouble is just amazing. One minute you think the man is down, the next minute he's right back up. Like he just, right. Um, it seems to, f he, he's a very lucky person when it comes to justice, when it comes to collaborations, if you will. So remember I said, I'll make you an offer. I can't refuse up in that scorpionic center. Well, he's going to at first try to make it seem like, you know, this is something you don't want to refuse. And he's going to be very lucky in the right place at the right time most all of his life. Um, however, just like there can be a rapid change for the better, there can also be a rapid change for the worse. Um, but, but up until this point, like I said, he's been lucky. Um, and things as they've shifted, they've shifted quickly and he's been able to be on the, the evolutionary, the revolutionary cusp of ev the evolution of what, you know, all that he's put his mind to. I'm going to guess he's, I wonder what's, I really wish I had the time of birth so I could see what his 10th house was. Um, okay, so let's go back. Now, today, what was happening is this, this moon right here was transiting do, 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 his urine, the Uranus in Libra. I would probably guess to me, this is uh, just knowing that we are just coming away from the full moon in, in Libra. That was an eclipse. So the full moon in Libra, the eclipse full moon in Libra, he knew enough to get the hell out because your luck was going to change. What was happening now, I, I want somebody at some time, and maybe I'll go back and look and see what the hell he was doing in October of 2023, because whatever he was doing in October of 2023, the chickens were coming home to roost now. And believe you me, if he knows enough about rituals and everything else, he knew it, it was about to flip. My guess is that's probably when Cassie and them probably first started contacting him. Because remember, they had said, I know y'all, I got a, a busted up nail here. Y'all, when I tell you I um hit this nail, child, and I bruised the mess out the nail bed. I mean, when I tell you, I bruised the dog mess out of it. We had to take it off so it could heal. Anyway, they had said that they had been in negotiations for a while by the time this got filed and we all found out about it. So my guess is going to be if I, if I were a betting woman, I would say that somewhere in October of 2023 is when there was first this uh, conversation. And that's probably the first time either he or she refused an offer. That's going to be my guess. I want to see what else is going on in October 2023 for him because this full moon true. And then I'd really like to see what was going on last year at the, that full moon in Libra, because that's really going to be the full circle of everything. But every year during this time, this new moon and full moon in Libra actually turns out to be a very significant time period for him because of he, the fact that he has two major planets, Jupiter and Uranus there, and, and, and then he's got um, Venus there conjuncting. So this is like the time period where he feels like whatever the hell he wants, he should get. And typically he gets it. Like he makes a lot of major moves somewhere around these, these lunar cycles. It, it's just the right thing to do. However, this eclipse, right, was one that was 
the, the luck was running out because at the same time he had, he would have had the sun yesterday into this morning conjunct his Chiron in Aries. Okay. So what's going to wound you the most? He's been able to avoid what is going to wound him the most for a long time. This time the gig was up. This time the gig was up. This said, you, you, the very thing that you fear is coming for you, bruh. The very thing that you fear. And look at this. So now you got, he's also got Neptune in Scorpio trining by, by degree, not by sign, trining by degree. So 120 degrees, not by sign, water and water his Chiron in Aries. So this also, that Neptune in Scorpio is a nasty, nasty, like you literally, it can go one or two for you, bruh. Because I have Neptune in Scorpio as well. It's a generational thing. I was born in 68. So I've got Neptune in Scorpio as well. I have it in my 11th house. So I am going to draw to me people that are very deep, have a depth of knowledge, have a depth and understanding, or want to have a depth of knowledge and understanding of all things spiritual, right? That I'm going to, I'm going to draw people that might be middle workers as well, too, that are not afraid to go into the shadow and go bring somebody out. It's going to be a very integral part of me to have spirituality as a part of my life and not just one form. Like I need to, I, you know, that ancestral, that historical, all of that. So I get that Neptune in Scorpio when the sun is in Scorpio as well, though, and you're trining Chiron, this can end up where you are mad, miss. You misjudge, you are misaligned, you're unaligned. You, you are, it's your, your perception of all of this is skewed. And I would say trending downward into the darkness rather than coming up into the light. Like, so, like this, this would be somebody that I would say would sometimes desire to be in the light. Right. They kind of really did. That's really what they wanted. But it was so easy to get it the other way. And it felt right. And it was just like as if one was walking into it. I'm not going to try to get a man a past life reading at this moment, but it would appear to me that this is not his first rodeo with the dark side, with shadow work, with dark magic. This is probably not his first rodeo with it. The desire, the deep rooted desire for power. I wish I had looked at this chart before. At any rate, um, so we've got that. And we've got his north node trining his son. His north node, though, is in Pisces. And it is trining his son quite nicely. Um, so this is the draw to the light. Let me get to the, the beautiful depths of this Neptunian energy. Right? The beautiful depths of this. Let me get. But he was always going to want to know, desire, enact, utilize. And almost, I would say, it makes sense that he would become obsessed with it. Now. What is transiting his north node? We have Venus, we have uh, Saturn in, in uh, Pisces, and then we have the true ruler of Scorpio, which is Mars. Mars is the true ruler of Scorpio. Yes, I understand that we now in the current day have Pluto as the ruler of Scorpio, but originally it was Mars. So I want to look at what the true ruler of 
and actually this ruler as well. So both rulers of his chart are now transiting in signs they don't particularly care for. So this Mars in Pisces was like, it's just got to change. It's got to change quick. He's being drawn to and asked to, and there's a reconstruction, right? We've talked about Saturn in Pisces, uh, 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 Venus in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces. We've been talking about this just in general, this whole internal reconstruction. What is it that I truly love? What is it that I truly want? For him, with both the with both Mars and Venus now in Pisces, these are the secrets that are coming out for both men and women. If you notice, when Venus was transiting, what was she at? Was she in Aquarius the last time we talked? Where was she? I, well, she was either in Capricorn or Aquarius, I think, when Cassie came out. And then the young man comes out, Lil Rod. Well, Mars is in Aquarius at that juncture, at that point in time. So the female and the male stuff had to come on out. Right? All of it. Doesn't matter. So now the reconstruction has to happen. Because the penance has to be paid. Saturn is also a karmic planet. So we have both the malefic, mar, major malefic, Mars and Saturn. We have both malefic male entities in Pisces. This is not, this is what has been done in the dark is coming to the light, baby. I don't know what you thought you was going to, you thought you were going to still, you know, bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? They came for you today, pimp. And it was, like literally he did the best thing he could have done as far as avoiding capture was to get on that plane and get the hell out. Cause today was not going to be his lucky day. His powers of fortune is right here or the powers of fortune. I should say here in Aries with the North node with Chiron and the sun. Um, and all he's got here is just his, his fears, his pain, his injury. That's all he's got. So all this is coming crashing down. Pluto in Aquarius, for him, he's got to start paying for his sins. And the collective is going to know about everything. We've got Jupiter. I, I'm not worried about these right here so much in the transit. This Uranus here in Taurus, everybody, with, everybody that is a Scorpio sun, um, transiting Uranus is still rather it's it's still in opposition to his son, so he was bound to have something happen. Um, there was a bound to be to be a major change when you when everybody that has the Scorpio sun has really been going through a lot of very sudden changes very quickly during this Uranus transit. That can be a change from home, wealth, rapid change of wealth, rapid change of living conditions. And in his case, there's about to be a change in his freedom. Um, let's see here. And then this, I find this interesting that the moon is really kind of like, it really, it transited his, his natal, man, that was just nasty. And he's been going through some feelings, thoughts, emotions right here about how he needs to change. Um, Because that moon's been transiting his, not only his moon, but then also Pluto and Virgo. He doesn't like to share how he's changing. He doesn't like to be exposed. Um, But he knows he's gotta. Now, the question is, is he going to get if we're going to see a capture, how many days? Capture probably by April 1st. If if he's going to get captured. Uh if he's not if he's not in custody by the solar eclipse on the 8th, it may take a while. It may take till next year. The 12th day of 
Taurus, the 12th day of Taurus, when the sun is opposing his sun, whatever date that is, um, I, I, I just think by that point, we're going to know, we're going to know, like the, I, 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 be, I believe the red rum charges will have dropped by then. He's not escaping that. He is not escaping the taking of lives. He's not escaping the taking of lives, period. And I it just, it's not going to happen. I don't see it. It's not going to happen. Hey, Sebastian, how are you, love? Hey, Sabby Bean. Okay. Does that make sense to y'all? I'm so intrigued by this, by this Saturn in retrograde and Taurus. It's as if, have y'all, y'all, y'all seen like the dark wizards, right? Y'all seen the, like in the, in the movies and stuff like the dark wizards. That's what I see when I see that. I see dark wizardry. I see a dark wizard. I see in a past lifetime that that's what he was. And that he conducted a lot of these rituals in the house, like in his domicile. He's very rich. He has spent a number of lifetimes being rich, a number of lifetimes with great wealth and great power. From what I'm seeing here, this Mars and Cap Mars at, at 29 degrees Capricorn, that also tells me he's wielded great power governmentally. I feel very strongly that that, again, has been throughout multiple lifetimes. He has a lot of placements, major, he's a very strong placements of major planets, right? Neptune here in Scorpio, Mars here in Capricorn. Four degrees is a, is, 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 is a, you know, it's pretty powerful. 26 degrees for his Plutonian. Like the, these, these placements are placements of power and uh, strong power. And I just see, and he loves power. This is this, this Venus conjunct Jupiter. He loves the power. He was supposed to though, karmically learn that that was not what he was supposed to do this go around. This, you guys, just said, uh, you know, like, in, I, I'm more of an intuitive astrologer. I understand the placements. I understand, all this, but I'm more of an intuitive, like, everything I see, I don't care what it is, could be your cards, could be anything. I channel more than I do anything else. So this, just what this is speaking to me is this lifetime, he was supposed to learn how not to just fall into that. He was supposed to learn that the power is to be used for the greater good. This is why he's at the cusp of, of Aquarius. Um, he was supposed to learn that transformation and deep spiritual transformation should uh, empower people and enlighten people. This is why Neptune is so close to Sagittarius. Um, this love of, of expansion and greatness was supposed to be him giving uh, to others right? It was not supposed to be him collecting power. This transformation in, in Virgo here, this personal transformation so close to Libra was so that people could change so they could get into balance and that he would himself would find the balance and the beauty in collaboration for collaboration's sake and for everybody's good and not always go back to these dark arts. He's gone back to the dark arts again. Now, you'll have to rewind it if you'd missed part of that, but he's gone solidly back to the dark arts. And all that's coming out. Now, whether or not all that the ritualistic, most mainstream media is not going to really play up the ritualistic nature. We're going to have to read in between the lines. And I'm sad this is going to be in federal court in New York because, unfortunately, that means it will not be televised. So I might have to find somewhere to stay in New York when this happens. Uh, the other thing I am hearing is the uh, Justin will be charged. What will happen to King? King won't be charged with as much. Justin will be charged. 
And Diddy's going to have to choose whether or not he's going to come back to help save his son or he's going to stay gone. 